Hello everyone. Um, so I don't know if anybody is going to hop on. Hang on, let me scoot this back. There we go. Excuse me. All right. Well, since I don't know if anyone is going to hop on, I'm going to go ahead and get some things out and start. Um, while I'm doing that, I just want to let you guys know Pharmacy is a European um, cosmetic company. They are based out of Turkey. They are quality products. Quality products. And I need to stop using the word cheap, even though the prices are lower than most other companies. Um, let's see. They are inexpensive. They're not cheap. When you think of cheap, you think of, you know, not very good quality, blah, blah, blah. So I want to make sure you guys know that these are excellent quality products. Um, let's see. So Pharmacy has been in the U.S. for about seven months now. Um, Dr. C. Tuna is the one who started this. He was one of the um, one of the big physicians in Turkey during the war. Um, so he led men through that, and then after that, he decided he wanted to. Um, form something that people could use and it not contain chemicals and it would be healthy for your skin and that sort of thing. So he created um, pharmacy. His family are his uh, family is now the ones that are running the business. Dr. Tuna passed away in I think it was 2016 2017 um, <clears throat> anyway they are great quality products like I am blown away because it's like drugstore prices if not cheaper than that especially if you decide to join to be a beauty influencer you get 50% off all products you start earning 50% commission as soon as you sign up craziness okay <clears throat> so I am going to start by putting on this glorious product right here I actually posted about it today this is the lip conditioner so all you people who are chapstick fanatics this is your friend very very good product My sinuses are acting up today. Sorry, guys. See my little braid? <clears throat> I just actually recently learned how to braid. So that's why you see a little braid. Also, I'm going to do something with it in a little bit. Um, usually, I will go in with our CC cream which is right here. And I may do that today. I haven't used it in a bit. I got in the BB cream, which is a moisturizer. It is a tinted moisturizer. So it doesn't have near as much coverage as the CC cream, but it still gives you a coverage and it moisturizes your skin while you're at it. So let's go ahead and do our VFX primer first. This is camera ready primer, so it will uh, minimize pores, it will make you look smooth. There is also one that is called VFX Strobe, and I really cannot wait to get my hands on it. 
works it, it illuminates and I just I, I want to see the difference with it so this VFX primer it makes your skin feel like velvet like it's so so super soft and it's like it's seriously like just a layer of velvet just sitting on your skin it is so nice so nice okay so like I said I've been going in with the BB cream but I'm gonna do the CC cream today CC stands for color correcting so if you have any redness any um, discoloration of the skin the CC cream and it just totally just like everywhere the CC cream will help correct that The CC cream is also what you get, you get sample packets in your starter kit. So that is the very, 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 very first product I ever used with Pharmacy. And the sample pack in the light medium lasted me for about a week and a half. Just that little sample pack. I love the CC cream. You can use this by itself. Um, what I do is I put it on and then I put my VFX foundation on over it. Um, when I first got my starter kit, I would just wear this and mascara and some lipstick, which I used the little, little bitty lippy sample packs that um, came in the starter kit. And it was just so good. So good. So I am using an e.l.f. brush. Um, the, the brush set that I got from Pharmacy that I ordered, I actually have one more in stock. So if anybody is um, curious, I do have one in stock. So the brush set includes a blender brush. It includes an angled brush that you can use to put um, eyeliner on. It includes a foundation brush, a flat foundation brush, which I had used this one to put the CC cream on before. Um, you could also use it for the VFX or any other foundations that you would like to use. And then it also comes with this big fluffy face brush. This is what I use for um, my terracotta, terracotta blush and for the highlighter. It's just, it's so soft and it feels so good. But I also had a couple of others. I have this one from Pharmacy, which is um, a flat eyeshadow brush and the two-sided. So you get a blush and then this one I also use for blending um, and it's, it's great. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But to put my actual foundation for the VFX, I have found that I like this type of brush. To me, it, um, it almost reminds me of a Kabuki brush, but it is, I think, an e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So I use it to put my foundation on. I also use it to um, blend out contour and um, my concealer for the highlight. I got really fuzzy there for a minute. Okay, so the VFX Camera Ready Pro Foundation is this bad boy right here. It is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. And believe me, it doesn't take much. It's one, two, three. That's it. Three. And you, I go in.
just like so. And then I just start blending it in. You guys, when I got off work this morning at 7 a.m., it was 45 degrees. Four, five, 45 degrees. I am ready for fall, but I am definitely going to have to get me a lightweight scrub jacket to wear to work. Okay. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Pumpkin squeezy. So, what I normally do is I go in with my eyebrows, but I think... I think I'm going to change it up. That way you can see this too. So this is the contour stick from Pharmacy. This is what it looks like. And it twists up. Mine kind of broke off, so I'm keeping it kind of short. But to contour, <clears throat> I start right around here and go toward the corner of my mouth. I you can also go in right at your jaw or your your Yes, your jawline, sorry. If you wanna contour your nose, let me try something. So I'm gonna take this angled brush. That stick is a little big. Okay, contour your nose. And you can also go in right up here. This is mainly if you have like a, a bigger forehead, it works. I'm not going to do it today because it, to me, it's hard to get it all blended out and to where I'm not screwing up my hair too. So then, this is the Pharmacy Concealer. This is pure beige. And gonna leave the contour alone for just a minute I'm gonna do my eyebrows and put on some eye makeup that way if any of the dust falls under here actually we're using cream shadow so it doesn't matter all right so with your concealer you're using it to highlight with your contour a triangle that comes down Cupid's bow, and then your chin. You can also put some 
right under your eyes. I look like a, a scare, a scarecrow, not a clown. Um, scarecrows. It's almost fall, y'all. And what better way to fall into pharmacy than by this, this uh, beauty show that Crystal's doing. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used to put my foundation on. It's the blending brush with e.l.f. And we're going to blend. I actually want to get a shade lighter on the contour stick. All right, here we go. I totally think I brushed my eye. Ta-da! Alright, so next up is the Pharmacy Brow Liner. And it is a pencil, so you it's not self-sharpening. You have to buy a sharpener to sharpen it. And you just follow along your natural eyebrow line and if your eyebrows aren't as thick or um, dense as you would like like if you have sparse eyebrows we have an eyebrow and lash serum that um, will help that grow that's what I will be buying Now, the thing is, I can never get my eyebrows to match. And my sister, who went to cosmetology school, who has her cosmetology degree, um, she told me not to worry about them being twins. Just make sure that they're, you know, they're sisters. So that is my goal each time that I do my brows is to make sure that they just look related. Another tidbit of information, if you're trying to get them to match up, you can always do a unibrow and then go back in um, with foundation or concealer and cover that up. <clears throat> Ta-da! 
right, folks. Eyebrows are done. Contouring is done. Oh, I need in this. I don't know why I sipped it. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna use this one and this one on this one. Possibly that one. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the cream shadows. I'm gonna use the face palette. Which this baby. This baby. Which comes in this box. Very pretty. This is my favorite right now. So we got golden shot, we have red glaze, and we have our eyeshadow primer. <clears throat> this stuff is amaze balls. Absolutely amaze balls. It keeps your eyeshadow on point where it's supposed to be for like, I know, 12 hours for sure. So, and it's glass. So here we go. You can also <clears throat> wear the primer by itself if you don't want to do anything else. Um, it just helps even out, and it looks pretty amazing balls on its own. All right, so golden shot and red glaze. Yeah, let's let's just do both. Why not? All right, so I have been using this flat eyeshadow brush it worked pretty well so we'll see how well it does this time I need to get me an actual gel brush or cream shadow not gel cream shadow brush and we're gonna go in right here <clears throat> Looks pretty maze ball so far. All right, let's do the other side. Golden eyes, baby. Golden eyes. Alright, so that's gold shot. Or golden shot. Golden shot. Y'all, my legs are going to sleep under this table. Okay. So, we're going to go in with red glaze now. People be loud. All right. We're 
we're just gonna go right here. Right to the crease. Well, you see that? You can still see the gold, but you got the red too. Right, let's do it on the other side. So that is red glaze. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Guys, hang on a second. Oh, that hip. I gotta do laundry tonight. Or tomorrow. Alright, so we got that. What I did the other day is I went in with, no, the terracotta blush, and I took an eyeshadow brush, excuse me, and went right over it, right there. And then I took the blending brush and blend it in and then I took the face palette and I took this one right there and I dabbed the blending brush in and I went right there in the corner. See how that brightens that up? I'm also going to try something. So I'm going to take the blush because it's kind of a pinky color. And I'm going to go right there. I can get my eyes to quit watering. take the blending brush just 
make it a little soft soft all right so I used the turquoise eyeliner the other day with this look um, but I'm gonna do something special with both so let's go ahead and put the turquoise on If I don't dry it, it will uh, smear onto the upper lid. Guys, doing that makes my eyes water. If you hop on, don't be a, don't be shy. You can always say hi and ask or comment if it looks stupid or anything like that. Don't hesitate to to talk to me on here if you hop in, okay? All right, this is the Express Eye Pencil. So these are one of our um, eyeliners, our eyeliner pencils. And what I do with the white is the waterline, which is right there. That's where I go with that. If my eyes don't start watering first. And they did. Sorry guys. For some reason that area putting the pencil on there I guess it's like tender and it tickles so it makes my eyes water all right so I told you I was gonna do something special with the um, turquoise and gold well, all of that is chillin all right you see my little braid here what I'm gonna do Take it. Should have did a bigger braid.
and you just go up the braid. Until you can't see no more. Hang on. Alright, so I will finish that in a little bit, but it gives you an idea. So you can go back in with the turquoise and you can hit up the parts that you didn't get with the gold. see and just keep going up the braid so then you have a little colorful treat for whenever you go out all right so since we have that I'm gonna go in with this bad boy right here it's one of my new faves it's the extreme curl and it has a bent brush like so that way it gives it some curl And it curls from the root. So if you have long lashes and you have problems with them falling down into your eye like my friend Melanie does. This mascara curls them all up and out of your eye. Look, you can already see a difference. And never, never, never go up and down. If you're trying to get more product on the wand, go in circles. If you go up and down, um, you'll introduce bacteria into the tube. Also, tidbit hint, if you ever get like mascara up here or, or anywhere else on your face and you've already got your makeup on and you feel like you've ruined it, the little spoolie, so you the you can get a um, brush that has like a comb on the end of it for your eyelashes and eyebrows. It also has like a spoolie on the other end. You can use that spoolie and once it dries, just like rub it. And it comes off. Okay, so eyes are done. Next, I'm gonna go in with the number five blush. Sorry, that is not the number five blush. That was number five in eyeshadow. The blush I have is number one, and it's right here. Ta-da! Easy peasy, pumpkin breezy. Then I go in with the terracotta, which is this bad boy. Y'all, okay, this is my hand. That is the blush. Love, love, love. I 
go in with the big face brush and I go just like so. And then I go back to the face palette and use that one right there with this one. No, with this one. And I go right there. Right there. And right there. Look how shiny that is now. Okay. Now, for the piece de resistance, I am going to go in with, if I can find it, number 12, Liquid Lip Matte. And it is called Autumn Story. And it is fabulous. It is a great fall lipstick. So I had the lip plumper earlier for the pictures that I put on there. So my lips, my upper lip is actually showing up. Then the last thing you do, you put on your setting spray. So this is Pharmacy's Time Locker. And I feel like I've got to sneeze. And that is it. Very easy, very simple. Anybody can do it. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite looks I've done. So I didn't hear from anybody. I you can message me. You can comment on here. Um Let me fix that. And I will answer any and all questions that you guys have. Um, please, please comment. Please comment on pictures. We have a, a game going, so however many pictures you like or comment on, you earn points for. Let's help Crystal's party be absolutely amazing. Let's get her some free products. And remember, whoever gets the top three in the points, they get free products too. So please, 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 please participate. Let's, let's show Crystal how much we appreciate her, okay? So like I said, if you guys have any questions, concerns, whatever, don't hesitate to message me, comment, whatever. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday.